We're going to take a look at a cast on called Judy's Magic Cast On. It's usually used for a toe of socks if you're starting from the toe up and you want to work in both directions. But you could also use it for anywhere that you basically want to knit in both directions where you may perhaps otherwise have a provisional cast on. To work this, I'm using um, a circular needle with a nice long cord because I'm going to go into magic loop from there. You could of course also just do this um, with double pointed needles where you've just got two double pointed needles here instead. We're going to, when you start with it, you want a tail that's going to be long enough to cast on half your stitches. Usually if it's a toe up sock, you're only talking about a few stitches. So I'll just leave a relatively short tail here. We're going to keep the needles in your right hand like this, pointing towards the left. And we're going to drape the yarn over the back needle. This is your back needle, the one that's furthest away from you, with the tail this is my tail here hanging down between them. Then what we'll do is we'll cross over the two yarns. So that my tail is now at the back and my working yarn, let me bring it over here, is at the front. And I can hold it where my tail is being held with my index finger and my working yarn is being held with my thumb on my left hand and you've created just a loop in the bottom which is going to be your first stitch. What you're doing with this is you're going to, it's like figure eight where you're going to put one stitch in the back, one in the front and you'll keep going back and forth like this and by the time you're finished you're going to have, you should make sure you finish with an equal number of stitches on the front and on the back. So we've got one already on the front, on the, on the back, so we're going to go put one on the front. So what you do is the front needle is going to use the back yarn or your tail yarn. So we lift it over, bring your front needle behind and scoop up that back yarn like so. And now I have one on each. Now we're going to start our repeat where we'll put back, forth, back, forth. So we're going to now go take our back needle and bring it down with the yarn in between my two needles and scoop it from underneath to put a stitch on the back needle. Now lift it all the way over and scoop the back yarn from behind with my front needle to put one on like this. And you're going to keep repeating like that, um, you know, one on the back, one on the front. So we'll go back again to the front like so and lift the back yarn front, lift it over, scoop the back, make sure you go between the two, the front and the back. And you can keep stopping and double check that you've got matching numbers of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to leave it at that so I can show you how you knit off of that. So I'm going to let go of my yarn here, careful nothing unhooks, twist it around like this. Now that last stitch is just a matter of a draping over. So what we're actually going to do is make sure that you wrap that around your working yarn and kind of hold the tail to make sure it stays in place. Now the one that your this stitch was on here, we're going to leave that on that needle here and we're going to pull the back needle out like this so that they just sit on the cord. Same as if you're going to work magic loop. Keep holding my tail here and I'm going to start knitting across these stitches here. The first one I can give the and you're just going to keep knitting across the stitches here and when you reach the end like magic loop you'll turn around slip that to the middle and slide this along here so that these ones are up at the tip. And then I will just go ahead and start knitting these stitches here. The, um, the size of the stitches or how tight they are here is going to be determined by how snugly you did the cast on when you were starting off. Now, when you've finished here, you can kind of stop and do a reality check and make sure that what you've got here is stockinette stitch and sure enough, it looks perfectly formed 
on both sides. So if you're finding that you've got bumps, it probably means when you started knitting that you pulled the wrong needle out and so that you ended up on the wrong side. But that's what it's going to look like. And you've got a perfect seamless start for a toe or a perfect provisional cast on if you're, you're starting a provisional cast on. <laughs>